So when I was shuffling out the spread, um, what I saw was there's this woman. She's she looks like a you know a really beautiful maiden, like very voluptuous with a dimple, curly hair, and she's just really attractive. Uh, she baked a pie and then she puts the pie. It's piping hot and she puts it on the windowsill. And then in the distance, and, and then she walks away from the camera frame, right? In the distance, it, it pans out to, you know, this pasture, there are sheep or lambs and, and cows. And then in the background, there's a white picket fence. And then you see this man, he's, he's a young man. So he must have seen her from the windowsill. And he's charging, he jumps over the fence, um, runs or sprints across the the, um, the field and goes right to the window. And then that, that's where I'm very confused because I'm like, is he going there because he saw the pie or is he going there to get a glimpse of her? And so I feel for some of you, you guys are that um, that woman. It's like, is this man here for me or is he here for the pie? Okay, and um, yes, there are, I guess, like sexual connotations associated with that. Like, is he here for the goods or is he here for me, for, for just me? And so that's the first interpretation that I immediately got when I saw that image. And then I, I also feel for some of you in a different circumstance, if it's not love related, there is a situation where you're charging forward and you're kind of like the first person there the first person to see the action the first person to get picked the first person that it's like you're you're ahead of the curve you're in the right place at the right time and so you're there at the right opportune moment to get the best of something okay so um what i am seeing here is so sorry about that i had a, a phone call um, so where was I? Okay, so like I mentioned, um, for some of you, it's sort of like you're at the forefront of this race, okay? And um, what I have coming through corroborating these imageries that I saw was, um, first of all, we have here the Ace of Pentacles. You've got some good news in the pipelines for you. Some of you might have already gotten, you know, the communication judgment. And then others of you, you might have uh, to go through the interview process, okay? The interview process where you are kind of competing against other people who are who have a lot of skills, who have a lot of um, they're they're like they're they're not just you know random people that are getting hired. I feel like they're top notch professionals in their fields. So it seems like the the competition is very very fierce. A lot of people have applied for the same jobs. Or if you're doing the application process right now, you really need to, you know, uh, not be modest about your skills. OK, really, really try to highlight your skills so that you stand out because you, you've got like um, quite a few competitors. And so what I mentioned before was um, start on things. Um, start with this. Um, it, it's, it's like. Um, it's a sprint, okay? It's a sprint to see who can get there the fastest. And you're kind of uh, privy to new information. For some of you, this might have come in through the pipelines, like in a very discreet way. So for example, some coworkers have, uh, could pro probably tell you, oh, there's, an, um, there's a new job that's in the picture. You should go for it, or your supervisor or your manager or somebody that's giving you some very um, like classified information regarding you know the 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 job of, that's available. And so I feel like you know don't sit there and mull things over. Just put in your application if it's something remotely that you want. Put in your application. Definitely spend the time on it. But um, I feel like it's a really good opportunity for you. Um, for those of you, I feel like um, who have been, you know, financially struggling, okay? Because I feel like they're, it's it's the spread. It seems like the the energy seems to me like it's the end of a long struggle. That's what it feels like with the judgment card, which is communication news finally coming into the picture. And then we have the fool starting on a brand new path, starting on a brand new journey that is very um, emotionally exciting. And it's it's almost like you're you've worked really hard and you're waiting for that harvest and the, the harvest is coming in. And so. That's what I'm feeling here. So you've got new work, new jobs, new financial windfalls coming into the picture. Um, rehearse 
rehearse, of course, with every interview, uh, with every situation where we're kind of like standing in front of people, you have to rehearse. Okay. So this is sort of like being put in an uncomfortable situation. He's naked. He's exposed. He's vulnerable. There are things about his body or his skills or things about himself that he is not 100% happy or, or satisfied with, but he owns it. He owns the stage and he is uh, comfortable in his own skin. Okay. Being comfortable in your own skin. Um, because I feel like this is an opportunity where you're going to feel a little bit kind of like out of your element and you're going to feel like you have to people will really see you scrutinize you and judge you however it, it's it's yours if you're able to kind of own the room if you're able to be comfortable in your own skin that's what they want okay so you have to rehearse in order for us to master something master something we have to rehearse things where it feels like second nature to us okay so that means you know um uh wearing the clothes that you're comfortable in okay so that means you still have to dress up for the interview but you still have to you know take into account the comfort the clothing that makes you feel the most confident but at the same time i feel like on the mental on the mental level on the mental plane being very comfortable with what you're good at highlighting your strengths and if you have, you know, uh, shortcomings, talk about what you have done to overcome them. I do feel for some of you, um, uh, I, I feel like um, social anxieties about public speaking because I'm getting this, you know, really big knot in my throat. So like uh, anxiety about public speaking and especially anxiety when you feel like there's a lot riding on this job. I've been financially kind of um, down and out and I really need this job and, and I, I don't want to come across as, you know, desperate. So I feel like you have to rehearse, you have to work on that self-confidence and you have to really walk in there as if, you know, visualize as if I've already got this. Okay. So, uh, work up that confidence Libras. It's going to be right in alignment with you. And I, I honestly feel like it's there if you want it. Okay. So make yourself believe that you've already got it. All right. Um, the other thing that I'm feeling is, um, for some of you, there is a love situation here. That's a little bit it's a it's it's a mixed bag. So what I feel here is I have here the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So the 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 gesture, the way they're moving is very very similar, right? Like it, it's the same pose, it's the same um the the way that it's almost like a mirroring type of an energy. One is on top, I forget which is which. I think this one is here. So one's on top and one's on the bottom. And so I, I feel like Knight of Cups, um, there is a very strong, coy, shy energy about you. And um, the way in which you exude your energy in the month of January, um, it, it's a, a mixture of like trepidation, um, self-consciousness, um, lack of certainty when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to your assessment of a situation, like very shy, very coy, very, um, like uh, there's a lot of self doubt. Okay. Like, um, going back and forth, does he, or doesn't he, does she, or doesn't she like going back and forth and going back to the picture of, you know, this man that jumped over, that jumped over the fence that ran across the pastures and, you know, is like coming at your, your windowsill. Um, I feel like you have somebody that's coming towards you in a very matter of fact. They beeline it for you. It's like they know what they want. As soon as they want, uh, they see it, they, they're going right for it. And um, I don't think they're going for the pie. You're the one that's going for the pie. You're the one that's going for the job. You're the one that's, you know, there at the, the front of the line when there are resources or a job or, you know, something news coming in. So that is you. Whereas the other person, um, the person is not coming for the pie. It's coming for that, you know, beautiful woman that baked the pie and, and you know, she showed up at the window and that's why he's running towards her. 
So yes, the imagery are a little bit, you know, heterosexual, so I apologize. But if you, you know, switch the genders, if you date the same genders, switch the genders, okay? Um, so I feel like there is someone who's making like a, a big beeline for you. Like they're going straight for you and they're going right after what they want. And they're very clear about their intentions. They're very clear about what it is that they want. Um, I feel like this is somebody who might not be your... Um, I feel like they're, they're, there's something about them that makes them very different from the people that you have dated before. Okay, so I feel like... Um, I feel like they're straightforward. I feel like they're aggressive. Um, not in a, not in a, how do I put this? So I just feel like, I, I just feel like you don't, okay, so let me explain this. I'm sorry that I'm fumbling here. We have here the King of Wands, okay? King of Wands. So this is somebody that is very attracted to you very very attracted to you they really care about you they're 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 protective towards you they want to nurture they want to take care of you if you've had a bad day they want to you know um beat up the people that were bad to you they they really care um and i feel like there is a a sense of um reciprocity and also and and the card fell out like this so i feel like this is someone who's very attracted to you very attracted to you um, what I feel though, is there might be a lot of, um, differences between the way in which you, you and the other person do things. Okay. You might have different ideologies. You might have different, um, different wants, different needs, different ideals when it comes to love and relationships and different, even differences when it comes to uh, what's appropriate in a relationship, okay? So, like, does one person pursue, um, and, you know, or, and I feel like there are a lot of, uh, gender role reversal in this situation. So, for example, if you identify as, you know, more of the feminine, the receptive energy, um, I feel like then you're the one pursuing, Whereas if the other person normally identifies as the masculine, the more aggressive, the more, you know, um, go for it type of energy, then they're taking a backseat and then the feminine is um, pursuing. So I feel like there are some things here that are a little bit role reversed. That's what it feels like to me. And it feels like a little bit just different from what you're used to. They do have really strong feelings towards you. And I don't feel like it's just, you know, attraction. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more than that. But I feel like this person, they're not one to communicate and talk about their feelings and talk about their emotions and talk about, you know, um, the, the, the cheesy stuff. I feel like they want to just get right to it. And so that's what I'm sensing here. Okay, we have the lovers. And so we have two people. I have here the King of Wands and also the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, it could simply be a choice. You have a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or a an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You might simply just have two, two options. And I feel like this fire sign is somebody that there might have been like a merry-go-around, you know, with... Um, arguments, attraction, but also repulsion. Not that you're repulsed by one another. It's just like there's a, there, there's a clash of wills, okay? Uh, ideological differences and things like that. So I feel like, you know, the passion is really strong. It burns bright. But I feel like it's not the most compatible. Doesn't mean it can't work but I feel like it's not the most compatible. And then I feel like there's somebody else that's making another gesture towards you, King of Pentacles, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is somebody that I feel is new, and this is, seems to me like you're transitioning away from this fire sign towards this Earth sign. 
um, the energy that you come in with is a little bit uncertain. It's a little bit wobbly and uncertain. And what I feel is um, it's almost like you are in a situation where you feel out of your element. And what I'm picking up is um, I feel like you're questioning your not so much your attractiveness because you know you've got it. But I feel like your capabilities, you know, it's it's almost like, can I love this person the way that they want to be loved? Can I satisfy them, you know, physically, sexually, emotionally, the way that they want to be satisfied? Am I capable? So I feel like there's a little bit of like self-doubt. And, you know, it's normal with every uh, new relationship that we're in. Because it's a brand new person. People have different expectations. People have different wants and needs. And so I feel like you're at this point where you're just like, am I able to, you know, fulfill them? Am I able to, are, are they going, going to judge me? Are they going to, um, so I see a lot of apprehension, but I also see, you know, that butterfly pit of your stomach, um, embracing the new and, and walking into the new with a little bit of, um, excitement but also trepidation so it's like the the unsettled feeling when it's the beginning of something new and especially if it's the beginning of something like a new love or like that honeymoon phase in a love relationship or even before the relationship starts there's that period of flirtation back and forth where it's it's really exciting so that's what I'm feeling it's it's almost like a relationship that's going to take off very soon but right now you're trying to get your ducks in a row in your own personal life, financially, career-wise, um, just all the things that you as an individual need to take care of on your own. And then there's this, you know, the, the undeniable attraction and the flirtation with another, with another person where it's, it's a mixture of like, it's just very new, very playful. And I feel like it just feels it could go the distance is what I'm saying, but I feel like it's just the, the, the flirtation stage right now. It's like you're not even official. You're just talking to each other, getting to know each other. And there's just, you know, that, that butterflies type of a feeling. Okay. Um, so things look really, really good. Um, the other thing that I'm picking up here is uh, I do want you to be a little bit more careful with your financial situation. Uh, needless to say, you know, um, don't spend outside of your means. I feel almost like this is a an opportunity here, you know, financial windfall or even new jobs. And uh, it requires us to be a little bit more grounded, a little bit more practical. Okay. And for those who have been dealing with debts, who have been struggling financially, I, I do feel that your financial situation will alleviate but that doesn't give you, you know, the clearance to spend outside of your means, okay? So I, I do sense that you want to still be careful. You want to make sure that you don't go on, on the town, you know, um, projecting your first paycheck and, you know, spending it all, like, um, even before the paycheck, you know, anticipating that you're going to make, for example, 5000 a month, and then spending it all before the paycheck even comes in. So I feel like that's something that needs to be said, because you have a brand new start, but the brand new start still requires that you are practical and responsible when it comes to your financial situation, because you're laying down the foundation right now. The pentacles, um, especially the aces, it's always the seed, okay? We have to watch what we do. We have to take care of it. We have to nurture it. And we have to make sure we give it the best foundation so that it can flourish, all right? Um, I do see as well, if you have a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, okay, in your life, um, and I feel for some of you coworkers, and then for others, I feel like, you know, somebody that you've been having this merry-go-around with, there's some uh, communication that might not be completely, there's some communication that might not be completely um, uh, forthcoming, okay, like not forthcoming, not straightforward, 
Um, and I feel like you, it's, it's almost like you know how to push each other's buttons or at least, you know, they're trying to get a rise out of you. They're trying to get a response from you. And I feel like you're the one that might not be wanting to communicate further. They, they want something from you. They want communication. They want answers or they're trying to get a sense of clarity. And I feel almost like you're kind of keeping them at arm's length. Um, you, you're, if you're dealing with a fire sign. You're seeing, I, I don't know why, they're looking at you and they're really interested in you. But I feel like it's hard for them to verbalize their emotions. It's hard for them to tell you, you know, hey, I've been looking at you. I've been, you know, you've been on my mind. They're, they're never going to say those things. They, they just won't say those things. And so you might feel like they have a lot of other options. You might feel like they're not, you know, into you. So I feel almost like you're looking at a situation in, in a different light from, from the reality. And um, I feel like it might just be, you know, the, the subconscious fears from your end. Am I lovable? Am I able to fulfill them? Why would they want me? Why are they interested in me? Are they playing with me? Are they poking fun at me? Or are they really interested? And I feel like they are really interested. Okay, they are really interested, but it's just um, you've been having some 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 questions regarding your self worth, your self doubt, your self confidence, and I feel like it's it might be affecting the way that you're seeing other people, and you're you're not able to see the sincerity in other people. You're not able to see them reaching out. You're not able to trust their intentions, their motives. But I feel like they definitely. Um, do want to be with you. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that, uh, Libras. I hope that, you know, the, the, um, if you, those of you who are looking for new work, it's coming in, apply for it. And I feel like you're going to be on the front line. Okay. You're going to be kind of like the first candidate. That's what it feels like. So it looks really good. You have some really good things coming in. Um, take care of you right now, the relationship, the other relationship situation, let them sort themselves out. But I feel like the focus needs to be on you, needs to be on your finances, needs to be on your stability. It needs to be on um, about, you know, your building up that self-confidence first. OK, so I will leave it at that. I wish you the very best. Have a blessed rest of January and I'll talk to you guys soon.